everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and believe it or not, we're out at our airfield again today. It is crazy cold. I mean, uh, we've been battling wind and cold, and we just haven't had any chance to get anything in the air. So we finally have an opportunity to fly something. I think a lot of you guys are going to like this with Christmas around the corner. Not only is it Christmas themed, but it's a good Christmas price at around $35. This is called the Bolon Toys Bolon, something like that. K911, like K9911. That's kind of neat. K911. I kind of like that name. Um, we've had some Bolon toy drones on our channel before. They're generally fairly priced and they perform okay. And they tend to have a theme of this kind of metallic-y colored look. I really like it. Anyway, if you're interested, we'll have this linked in the description box below for you to check out. The cows like it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Today. Um, it does come with its own dedicated transmitter, and as you can see, it's a pretty good size setup for around $35. I like the looks, I like the size. This is a good training size type of quadcopter. I think keeping it under $40 is a good price to be. There's no camera on this one, although it's capable of carrying some types of cameras. So I think they have a camera version available as well as you can see it's brushed motors and it is geared out so don't get any crazy high expectations for brushless motors or anything in the box we have landing gear in case you were flying with the camera or you're newer and you want to protect your quad a little bit more you can install those landing gear it does come with a usb charge cable and a little lipo battery this is one cell 3.7 volts of course and it comes in at 400 milliamps you can see the connector here and uh, that's basically it. So the true test is gonna be to see how this flies. It doesn't even come with four spare props, which is kind of surprising because most of the time these quads come with props, but you can see it has the prop guards on there. So that should help save your props. Um, interesting installation for the propellers. There's not a screw on the top, screw on the side, which is a little bit different. You can see that's what's holding it on there. So let's fly this and see how it does. So that's a pretty standard startup. We have the quad, plugged in first and then you turn it on with the on off switch which is a very nice bonus I like that so you turn the quad on then you turn your transmitter on you give it full throttle up full throttle down and then you're bound and now you have throttle uh, a lot of people ask too since this is going to be kind of a beginner, beginner quad notice when I give it a little juice only a few of the props are spinning that's not a bad thing that's just because those props that are spinning are the lowest ones so keep that in mind nice little beginner tip for everybody a lot of people think, well, there's something wrong with it when that happens. Now it is drifting off to the back some, quite a bit. And we have a very, very light breeze, probably less than one or two miles an hour. So this is very, uh, this is affected by the wind very much. So let me see if I can bump the rates up. That is a flip button. Get away from us, you are really close. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm trying to find rates here. So in the instruction manual, they had the buttons labeled, but not in English, so... I found it. It's a guessing game today for this oh, one. We found it here. So the rates, uh, it's kind of labeled. It's on the left side. Uh, down by the joystick, there are five buttons, and it is the button in the middle. There we go. So we're in rate two, and I have a lot more control over this now. The, it's flying in the light breeze really well and uh, it looks good in the sky fun to fly nice and easy to fly i like this so this one doesn't have altitude hold right doesn't have auto take off auto land it's basic but it's fun no I return like, to home that doesn't work i like flying quads like this I do too. this is this is where it's at when you just want to have fun flying so show us the speeds okay there's so, supposed to be three speeds right yeah we're in rate two now so here's rate three and it's uh well That's I don't know why it won't go up any higher. I hit the rate button, the one that got me out of rate it's just one. It's beeping twice now. Yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. Let me see if I can do anything else here. That's all trim. Oh, I see. So the middle button is rate two. The bottom button on that left side, I told you there were five buttons, is rate one. So as you can see, I have almost no control over the quad. That's full right. This is full left. Low and slow delays there. <laughs> So then, does throttle punch do anything throttle punch, different? Uh, no, it's not going to be affected. There's full throttle, okay? Hold on, I need to fix this. Sorry guys, I was not prepared. So that was a throttle punch. It wasn't great. Rate two. Well, I'm, I may be affected by it, but we're, here's our 
you know, full forward. We can actually zip around and have fun. That's full forward. So that's as fast as we can fly in second rate. There's also a little light on your transmitter. You have three lights at the top of the transmitter, uh, bottom, middle, and top, and that tells you what rate you're in too. I guess at the bottom of the transmitter. And here's rate three. Three beeps, the other light is on. Our yaw seems to be affected because we can do cyclones. Someone's car horn. And let's do a throttle punch. I don't know that it's affected really that much. I let's see, see that can... it has lights on the bottom. Yeah, green and yellow, so that's pretty cool. Let's try to do a flip here. Okay, maybe it's the other side. I thought that was the flip button. As I said, the instructions did not have English <laughs> at all. The battery could be low enough. There we go. Got to hold the flip button. So the top right button is to do flips. So since this doesn't have altitude hold. There we go. Did the fun flips though. <laughs> you can do lots of flips. Well, not a Crazy lot because the rates are not that high. Oh, there we go. That was pretty good. It was like three or four. Yeah. All right. Well, before the battery's dead, let's have Abby fly no, headless some. headless mode. Okay. Headless mode is on the That's left side. That's supposed to be the other feature. Yeah. The and so feature. we give it full yaw. We're in headless mode. I'm pushing forward. And it's not going forward. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and that's return ah! to home. That was return to it's home. It's not supposed to have return to home. Oh, it does. I don't even know where it went. It is behind you. <laughs> that was a good video. <laughs> um, let's see. We have a picture video button. But there's no yeah, camera. Yeah, that headless mode felt like return to home. It really didn't feel like it worked. And generally in this price range, a lot of times they don't work very Here. well. Just pass this off to me. Okay, so I'm passing Fancy the pass. controls. Abby's got the controls now. And I'm at the camera. As can you tell? I've lost the drone. There we go. So Abby's flying now. Yeah. This is a good day to fly. Oh, it's a really yeah, good day to fly. I don't believe that. Oh, the lights are blinking! Oh, your battery's low. So Abby's flying. She's got a low battery and she's really high in the sky there. It's too high for me to film, Abby. Too high for me to film. You're way too high up there. Wait, there we go. Bring it a little lower in case the battery dies. It is, but when the battery's low, you cannot do flips. I don't know. I don't know why you're standing out there. I cannot film you and the drone. Also, I'm filming straight up. You're you're like right over top of me. That's it. That's all the battery? Yep. Well, there you have it. That is the end of the flight. You do get a blinking light to let you know that the battery's low. Seems like as soon as I handed the controls to Abby, it started to blink. Here's what I was talking about with the rates. Uh, I don't know if you can make this out, but that light is on. And when I click the middle one, it tells us that we're in the second rate. And there's the first rate, which really can't do much. Well, so, it's nice that there's a light indicator. I do like the indicator and the audible indicator. I do I do like that a lot. So, uh, turn that off. No altitude hold. You actually have to manage your throttle like a uh, an old school quadcopter from a whole year ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the button layout is pretty good. This is flips up here. This was like a headless mode. There's your rates. This is how you trim it. And over here is camera and video function. So pretty basic setup. I like it. It's a slightly shorter flight time than I would have preferred. I think what I would do is take off the prop guards and then uh, probably look for maybe a five or 600 milliamp battery because as you can see, there is a little extra room in there, which is not super common. So you could probably get a you know, seven or eight minute flight time with those small adjustments, but still fairly short flight time. Overall, I do like this. I've got no major complaints because it does most of what it said it could do. The headless mode didn't seem to work very well. It acted kind of like a return to home. So other than that, not a bad quadcopter. If you guys are still shopping around and you haven't decided whether or not to pull the trigger on this, then be sure to head over to our channel where we very recently uh, shared with you our top five drones under $50. That's a good place to start. We'll have it linked in the description box below as well as carded up at the top of this video, uh, somewhere along this video. And uh, maybe some of our favorites will be linked there as well. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.